major insurance companies in America that manufacture annuity products, invited me to come speak to them to explain why I don't like annuity products and my recommendations and advice for how they can improve the product. And I made myself very clear at this event. I said that I would love to be able to sell annuities to our clients, but the current state of the products don't allow us to do so in good faith. As a fiduciary serving your best interests, I cannot in good conscience tell you to buy an annuity product. And I would love to be able to do so because annuities are uniquely capable of providing you, supposedly, with a guaranteed lifetime income. And yet, that's the mess that we're in. And I said, I want to work with you. I'm not just here to beat you up, I told these executives. I'm here to work with you. I want to help you develop a product that I would be proud to say on my radio show and in our seminars and in my books and on my website and in my newsletter that this is an investment opportunity that makes sense for you. I can't say that right now because of the state of the art of the annuity industry. And so this went on for some time and everybody agreed that I was discussing the elephant in the room, raising the subject for which we were all assembled for the first time, which didn't occur until 2 in the afternoon, for an event that had frankly begun the prior evening at 5 p.m. So, here's what happened next. I have to mention that there was a, uh, a consumer panel. That's how they started the morning. They brought in five consumers from various walks of life, various cities around the country, to talk about their personal investment experiences and their attitudes and concerns. And this consumer panel, after speaking to us all for a half hour or so, stayed for the rest of the day and sat in the audience and listened all day long. With that in mind, here's what happened. One of the chief executives of one of the insurance companies that was present, and I'm not going to mention his name or the company that was there, he said, I want to say something to the consumer panel. I want to tell you that we can provide to you an annuity that will give you 6% per year every year between now and when you retire. And then when you do retire... I will give you five and a half percent of income from the value of your account, and we will give you the five and a half percent for as long as you live. And then he turned to me, and he said, Rick Edelman, what's wrong with that? And I started to answer him when the host of the event interrupted me and said, I'm sorry, Rick. We don't have time for you to respond. And they moved on with the rest of their agenda. And I had nothing to say for the rest of the day. That was astonishing to me. This was the crux of the meeting. Here you have the CEO of one of the largest insurance companies in America, flagrantly and deceptively pitching a product to a consumer group without full and proper disclosure, and then the organizers refusing to allow me to share with those consumers the other side of the coin. So in theory, think about this. Wouldn't that sound great? You're going to give me a guaranteed 6% annual return? Think about what you're getting in your bank account. You're not getting 6% on your bank savings accounts or your CD. You're getting 1% or 2%, maybe 3%. Look at this, a 6% annual return guaranteed, he said, for as long as you work. And then in retirement, they convert the money into an income stream equal to 5.5%.